Okay, I'm making this pumpkin real fast, and I wanted to say happy, happy birthday, and um, um, so I went ahead, and this one was for a specialty one that we were, I was doing for our, <clears throat> our church, and I sent all these ladies one like this, but this card, of course, is for a person, not somebody in my church, and so um, I'm going ahead and I'm taking my original drawing and um, I cut it off <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and draw these onto it give me a little bit of a template I don't know if you guys do this a lot but I hate redoing this stuff I've already done once. I wish I would have um, left it more generic um, when I do things like this. So I, I would, you know, was able to do, you know, put it together and have it more generic. But his mother was up visiting me and it was his birthday. And we all sang him happy birthday on the phone, but we went upstairs and she's seen one of these cards and she's like, oh, they'd be so cute. If you would send it to him, they would absolutely love it and cherish the things you do. And um, her kids, she has really installed in her children um, just an amazing, they, they keep everything, they, they take care of things, uh, they are amazing. So anyway, she wanted him to have this so bad, and of course it's going to be late, but I thought I would do this real quick for him and send it off, and then that way um, his family could enjoy it. I don't know if they will truly enjoy it as much as she did, but um, anyway, this is how I do it. I go ahead and I write like happy birthday, and I type it up real fast on a font, and then I go ahead and... Uh, you know, cut it out, whatever, this is a pumpkin, but you could go ahead and cut, you know, you could draw anything and then put words in the background of it, you know, and then you can even specialize it and add a name if you want or, you know, like I, on that first one, you know, it had our church on it and, and that was from them. I just did the cards for them because they asked me to. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it totally blew me away. I had done a box for, I did, I made a box for their daughter for her 18th birthday. She's now going to be turning, she's got to be almost 40. Yeah, she's got to be turning 40. She'll be turning 40 this year. Anyway, she kept that box through all of college. You, you know how kids are in college. I, I, it blew me away. Totally blew me away. I thought, wow. I will definitely <laughs> do more. Um, so when she asked me to do this for her son, I just quickly, you know, wanted to do this. So anyway, this is quick and easy, and I'll show you what this turns out with. I went ahead and I, like I said, I had it on a, you know, piece of paper, and I just, you know, did happy birthday, happy birthday. I put his name in the middle of it a little bit, and then I put a pumpkin over the top of it, and now I'll show you what I'm going to do to make this really cute. Okay? One second. Okay, I went ahead and scanned this. This is a top that I had uh, drawn before, and so I scanned that. I rescanned this and cut this out the way I wanted and scanned it on top up here. Now I'm going to take my Copic markers, oh, excuse me, and I hope I can get this the way I want.
Then glue, and I go ahead and glue this one, the very end one right before your before your little <clears throat> thing pops up. And they make an envelope just to let you know to ship these in, and I'll get the dimensions for that because it's amazing. It's perfect. It's the perfect size. Um, I've sent these in the mail before. And so, see, I go ahead and do that. Usually get my bone folder. Ah, but I don't have it with me right this second. I want to push that down. And get that on that line, both of those on that line perfectly. See? Very good. And um, I go ahead and on this thing right here. Oh, these aren't my tiny. I had some tiny little. There we go. This is what I was looking for. I'll grab these. Put this over. For the pumpkin. Because I really like the little pumpkins. <clears throat> Okay, I made a few things, a few flowers and stuff like that. I've got ready for it. Anyway, um, I'm going to take this onto this real fast, and I'm going to print Happy Birthday on this saying, and then I'm going to die cut it out. I'll show you in just a minute. But I just wanted to show you. I just put it on a, a regular piece of paper. See, I'll show you what I've done. See, I type what I wanted it to say right there. And I'll put it right there. And I'll just tape this on. I'm sure you guys will do this, but just in case there's somebody that, I don't know, is just starting out and doesn't know this. Anyway, tape just a little piece of your green paper on there, and then I will show you. I'll print it. Okay. See? And I typed out happy birthday, and this is the die cut, and I think this will work just perfect in there. Of course, I check it out before, you know, on my white piece of paper, and then I know exactly where... And so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and put this on the front of the card. This will be, you know, the little seam right here. So I will cut this out. And this is just by Spellbinders um, Nest Abilities. And hmm. anyway, the S4324. Um, yeah. 
right there on them. I just love those. Those are so amazing. Okay, I'm going to cut this out. Thanks. Oh, and just a real quick tip. Um, see, since I'm so close on that edge, see, I'm just perfect. I mean, there was no room for... Um, I tape this into place um, when it's that close, and I can't afford for this um, thing to move on me. Anyway, it just holds it in place a little bit better. Hey, um, I was just working on more of these little embellishments to go on here. You guys seen me uh, build this. I went ahead and got a piece of green cardstock and I um, did the chicken wire by Cuddle Bug. And I'm going to do that. This is a Tim Holtz. And I just glued two of them together real fast. And then they slip on, you know what I mean? They slip on your card nicely. And then you can take this part and um, I'm going to put a uh, saying on this one and hang it from the, oops, hang it from the back on the back side of the card. I also went ahead and reinforced, I had this part of the box, then I went ahead and cut out some uh, paper, just giving this an extra, and I went all the way down. So that gives this little box. And I always, I made this box bigger so I could put, um, the size candies I wanted in them. Um, at one time I was putting hugs and kisses in it and this time I have some Dove um, Dove chocolates and I think I'll just put it in there. Um, so anyway, so you make it, you can always enlarge this box uh, with your, uh, you know, to make it the size you need to put, you know, if you wanted bigger candy bars in it, then make it bigger and that would be nice too. That would I think I might do that for Halloween is make these boxes just a little bit bigger to where I could stuff them full of um, candy bars and stuff like that. That would be a nice thing for your kids, you know what I mean? I went ahead and what the nice thing about this box is if you like three dimensional, and I like three dimensional, um, you can go ahead and you have lots of room to layer because see you have this whole part here. So I went ahead and like you can even cut things like this to glue on. I have all these flowers that I've made these embellishments, you know, and I want them to, I will have them take up the whole lip of this. And um, I didn't happen to have a grass um, die cut, so it was a pain. But I mean, not really bad, but anyway, I don't know if you know, but you just go ahead. It's super easy to make your own. You just wavy. Do a wavy cut at first, and then I follow that same wavy cut. Okay, and then I go ahead and just cut that one straight, kind of, with just a slight, you know, so that one shows up a little bit more. And the next one I do wavy. And then the next one I just kind of cut straight. So you can see that one part a little bit. You can go ahead and like, okay, that one was kind of straight, okay? Well, that's gonna be the next one. So I can wavy this if I want. Cut it off, then follow the next one. You know, and go ahead and follow it down. And you can make them thicker and thinner. See, and then I cut that just thin wise off. You don't wanna you want to cut that kind of straight so you don't have it too awfully spread apart. You know what I mean? And then I think it will maybe make this a little wavy. There we go. I hope I'm staying on camera. I think I am. Anyway, and my husband went ahead and fixed my... So there's not going to be any moving of the camera. Um, the pedestal thing used to be underneath my feet, so every time I moved my chair or moved anything, it would move the camera. So I'm really apologizing over that, so from now on it should be fine. But anyway, see, and I, I, I kind of got this one, you know, it's kind of lopsided, but that's okay because um, grass is never, you know what I mean, perfect. And you can go ahead and... I go ahead and make a lip so I can um, I'm gonna do that like that. I'm gonna make a little bit of a lip so 
so that way I can glue it down. But see, and that way I can have it's autumn time. Well, we've been having beautiful weather, it's not really autumn here. I'm hoping it's autumn in Connecticut <laughs> because that's where this card is going. But anyway, so you can do that and see, I could even get a brown and uh, do a brown in there, and so it would have all these different kind of grasses growing up and turning colors. And I think it'll be <clears throat> really pretty to add to this. I went ahead, and this is, of course, a die cut by um, Spellbinders. Um, the, I'll leave the link below. I'll, I'll put which it is below. Anyway, it's one of my favorite ones also because it so nicely finishes things like this. See? And I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to make it up a way so when the card sets up, you know, this stays flat. But that's okay. See, because that'll work really, really nicely onto there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and finish a few more of these little things. I've cut out leaves. I love these leaves. These are by Cricut. This is a Cricut cartridge on the leaves and stuff. And then I go ahead and emboss them. And they're really pretty. Some of the ones that you do a cut out, boy, you have to be really careful if you emboss it because it'll it'll tear it. But there's like this one right here. And I had this one. And I was looking for, I had a really, really nice one. And I, I think, I, I don't know. Anyway, I have those on there. And then I thought to cut it a few of the pumpkins out. And um, so I'm going to use them on um, this. And this is, um, I think this is Bo Bunny. I'm pretty sure this is Bo Bunny's last year. But his mom went ahead and seen this and she loved it, loved it. So I went ahead and grabbed um, this one from last year. But anyway, I think this will go nicely, but I fussy cut it all these different pumpkins out also. And um, this I just happened to get on the internet. It was one of their little freebie things, and I cut it out. It had music notes and a pumpkin on it. And I went ahead and copied it on my copier and then made it twirl like this. And I'm going to also have it on there. Like I said, I like a whole lot of, I like it to where when it sets down, um, it takes a while for somebody to set and really, um, notice it and and I feel that they enjoy the card a little bit more if there's a lot of detail on it and I like doing detail.
I'm sorry. <clears throat> I just had to really hurry with this. And um, so I finished it up real fast. But um, this is the front. It's really three-dimensional, like you can see. And I had to glue it a whole lot because, it, like I said, it's going to Connecticut. So, and I put a bow here. And I curled the leaves around the front of it. And see, this one curls. And even comes around the front of that right there. And I like how that looks. Let me see. Oops, sorry. And um, then this is the back. And see, these are hung. This is where that sign is by that die cut by Tim Holtz. And see, as soon as she tells me what she wants on this card, I'm going to hang it from the back of it. And just put those in there and then just glue them on the end. And then they just kind of hang there. But I'm going to print it on the printer like I showed you I've done before, just put it through, you know, in the spot I need it. And, um, and then that'll be perfect, you know. Anyway, she wanted something super special for her son's birthday. And so, happy birthday, Brian. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm so sorry. In the middle of doing this card, I got so sick. And I had to stop. In fact, I'm not all the way better, but... I just wanted to show you real fast, see, I went ahead with my printer and I printed off what, <coughs> excuse me, his mom and dad would have said, and then I just put it down here with some plumber's tape, I find that, or painter's tape, I think it's called plumber's tape, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, anyway, and I, I line it up, if you turn it backwards like this, and you put it into the light, you can see it really well. And then when you flip it back over, you just put the tape at the top, especially where it's going to feed in. And then you have that. And then when you're making the card, see like I was making this one, I went ahead and I knew I was going to hang it from these. So I just put a, a just a touch of um, hot glue on these and I went ahead and um, um, to where I could, you know, just take these back through, like, you know. And I could also um, send a picture of this card to my friend and show her what it was going to, you know, also look like once she told me what to put on there. And they just wanted something short and sweet just to tell their son how much they love him. And so, anyway, and so I'm just going to glue those on down on the back. And that's just going to hang from there and just add a little bit of a dimension. <clears throat> but I have it all done. Now, I couldn't quite figure, I don't know really what to put really into that, I'm not sure. I might just stick a flower down in it and glue it in place because um, I did kind of make it bump up a lot with three-dimensional. But anyway, so I'm going to get this right off to him um, because now I'm super way late. But anyway, alrighty. Well, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again. Bye. Okay. I went and got an antiviral, antiviral wipe. I want to make sure that, you know, I don't spread anything. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I fit that flower down there kind of, and I liked it. I know this is kind of over the top, but a little being a little weird. But I just didn't want anything not to be there, you know what I mean? So I wanted just to wear, if you look down in it, you at least see a flower. See? Like that. <laughs> and then position it to where you can't see it from the outside. Only if you look down in there. Which I'm sure nobody will, but you know, I just, I don't know. Maybe I will position it a little bit to where it looks like it's peeking out. That's not so bad. It's like I don't think he'll ever see this. He's a doctor way too busy for such things as this. So I think he'll be lucky if he sees the card. Okay. 
I'm going to bend this back up like this. Okay. Then like this. Then like this. There we go. There. There. And I'm going to go straight back. Ta-da! Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Make sure to get all my hot glue strings picked up on it. I'm the world's worst with hot glue strings. And because I use it so much, mm, I always seem to have them. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to pull up those ones that I cut up a little bit. So they block the other. Okay, see? And when you look down at it, you see a flower. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, and I open this other end real fast. And I'm also going to shove a little tab in there that says what to do, um, which end to open, just in case. You know, I don't know. And these are Dove Milk Chocolate. I was as closer to the store as mom informed me that like a peanut butter chocolate is like his favorite kind, but um, if you go to Cabela's, she says she buys them for him, but um, I can't go all the way to Cabela's right now. Oh, and it's not as many as I would have hoped. I wonder if I got them back out, if I could put in two at a time. Just a minute. Ah, don't you hate this. Something happens. <laughs> when I'm on camera. Okay. Come on. There we go. There. <laughs> well, they might be a little hard coming out. You might have to get a knife and fish these out. Poor guy. Alrighty. Or his wife, actually. Okay. And I've got those in there like that now. Now I'm going to slip a little piece of paper that says open here on there. I've got those there. And I think I have this. Let me see. I've got a Measured exactly where I want this to be. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, see, and I just put a spot of hot glue and then just glue that down. And the same thing. This side, a spot of hot glue, and just glue it down. And oh, I think this only happens. Okay, there we go. And that's his mom, probably boxing me. <laughs> okay, all right, now. I have this done. Yay! Finally. And because I got sick, it made it so late. But I'm going to quickly get this to the post office and send this off. Thank you so very much for watching. And I thought I would take you through all the steps completely, even with putting the candy in it. And I hope it hasn't been too long and drawn out. And thank you for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>